Now at 11, Indy Pride is gearing up for this year's celebrations during June, which is Pride Month. But the organization is facing some backlash after removing a picture from social media. The image included a man wearing an IMPD shirt. After removing it, Indy Pride apologized, saying it could be hurtful to some members of the community they represent and serve. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker gives us a closer look at the history of law enforcement and Pride celebrations and the ongoing controversy. When you think of Pride now, this is what comes to mind. Happy people from all backgrounds marching proudly through the streets. But the origin of Pride can be traced back to 1969 in New York City, the Stonewall Riots, where gay and trans people fought back against police harassment. This barrier between these, this institution and this population of people has been happening for, I'm bad at math, but since the 60s. Tanner Alexander is the president of Indy Pride. Last summer, they made the decision to cut ties with IMPD after video of the arrest of these two women during downtown protest began circulating online. I think what we saw last year, specifically seeing some of the, the harassment and violence that took place during protests here in Indianapolis, uh, specifically against the BIPOC community and the trans community, that in and of itself was a reason for us to draw a line in the sand. That's why this apology was posted on Indy Pride's Facebook page earlier this week, saying the photo hurt members of the community that are actively fighting against police brutality. Joseph Flevin says he's the man in the picture in question, and in a statement sent to WRTV and on his social media, he's made his position very clear. He does not agree with Indy Pride's decision to take down the photo. He and others are concerned that Indy Pride is excluding parts of the LGBTQ plus community. Tanner, however, wants to be clear about something for officers who want to be involved with Pride. We never said that officers aren't welcome at our events. All we ask is that officers who want to attend and are a member of the community or are not a member of the community, that they just don't wear their uniform to our events. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. We have reached out to IMPD about the controversy surrounding Indy Pride's policies. We will let you know if the department has a response. The department does have an LGBTQI plus liaison officer. This year, the majority of Indy Pride's June events will remain virtual, including its Pride Festival. Earlier this month, the organizers of New York City's Pride celebration announced it is banning NYPD and law enforcement officers from marching in its annual parade until at least 2025. In response, the Gay Officers Action League said it was disheartened by the decision and suggested the change was made to appease activists.